It's an October morning in North London. A group of friends are very busy. They're planning a route from Perth in Western Australia to Auckland in New Zealand. But they aren't going to travel by car, van or bus. They are going to drive a big red fire engine called Martha. They are all part of an amazing charity expedition called Follow That Fire Engine. Amy is one of the crew members. So um, Follow That Fire Engine is a charity expedition. We're driving a fire engine around the world to raise money um, for charity. It's going to take nine months. Um, it's 26,000 miles, 28 countries um, and three charities. There are 25 people in the crew. Um, at any one time, there can be five people in the fire engine. Um, Steve is driving for the whole nine months. Um, some people are driving, going out for two weeks some people three months, and I'm going out for five months to drive the fire engine. So why are they going to drive a fire engine around the world? <laughs> Just over a year ago, Steve's father, Garth, died. Garth was a firefighter for 33 years, and Steve, his brother, and their friends wanted to do something to remember him. They could come from Barry Island. Cool. There we go, see? Ben is a friend of Steve's and a member of the Follow That Fire Engine crew. Um, we decided to drive a fire engine around the world to raise money for three charities, um, UK charities, and also to, um, to do something in Garth's memory because he was a very, very special person and he was also uh, a leading firefighter for our fire station in our hometown. There are eight stages in their journey around the world. I was, I was very lucky in a way because I was, um, I was on stage one and stage one left London on July, Sunday, July the 18th um, and then for two weeks we drove the fire engine from London through Europe and finally finished in Moscow in Russia on the 1st of August. I think we travelled through 16 countries in 14 days. Um, which was quite, it was quite an achievement. I'm very excited because I'm going to be joining the fire engine again uh, on stage seven of the expedition in January next year. Um, I'm going to be joining or arriving at a place called Grays Harbour uh, in North America, which is approximately 100 miles from the Canadian border. I am going to be travelling from Grays Harbour in North America down the west coast of America through cities such as Las Vegas, through San Francisco, um, through Los Angeles and California and I'm going to be travelling through the Mexican border and finishing in Hermosillo. Um, I'm really looking forward to getting to San Francisco because I think driving the fire engine across the Golden Gate Bridge will be pretty amazing. But there's a long way to go before the fire engine arrives in North America in January. And Amy is the next driver leaving the UK to join Steve. I am going to fly to Perth in Western Australia in two weeks time um, and I'm going to drive the fire engine across Australia to Brisbane. We're then going to put the fire engine on a ship and go with the fire engine on the ship to New Zealand.
There's a lot to do before Amy leaves for Australia, and packing for a five-month trip isn't easy. So I'm going to leave England in the winter, where it's cold, um, and arrive in Australia in their summer, um, where it's going to be about 40 degrees, so it's going to be really hot. I'm going to miss my bed. Um, I'm going to miss home-cooked food. Um, I'm going to miss my family, my mum and dad, because I speak to them every day. The expedition is going to take nine months and we are going to arrive back in the UK at the end of March and we're going to have a big welcome home party for the crew. The crew are going to have an amazing time on their journey around the world and with the help of everyone they meet, they are also going to collect over £100,000 for charity, remember Garth and help a lot of people.